What's up, football world? Welcome to week two of the U.S. Army All-American Bowl Selection Tour Highlight Show presented by Adidas. I'm your host, Tyler Olson, getting you up to speed on the football stars of tomorrow and the names to look out for in college football for years to come. We'll start out with the Southwest team and a pair of stud DBs from Mansfield Timberview High School in Arlington, Texas, home of Major League Baseball's Texas Rangers, where these two stars patrol the defensive backfield like a couple of center fielders. First up, Ed Paris Jr., the second-ranked safety nationally and a future LSU Tiger, 6'1", 190 pounds of Manimal, who, according to 24-7 Sports, is a top 30 overall prospect and the third best player in the talent-rich state of Texas. His favorite NFL player, 2008 Army All-American and former LSU Tiger, Patrick Peterson. You can bet the Bayou Bengals saw that he's always had the eye of the Tiger. How about his teammate, Brandon Simmons, another safety prospect. Six feet, 175 pounds of talent on his way to Northern California to play for the Cardinal at Stanford. Stanford, didn't another U.S. Army All-American go there? Oh yeah, it was 2012 number one overall NFL draft pick Andrew Luck. To all offenses that have to play against these guys, I send my condolences. Staying in Texas, let's move down into the trenches for Solomon Thomas from Coppola High School. 6'3", 256 pounds of sheer destruction. He's the second ranked DN nationally and the fourth overall player in the Lone Star State. Not sure where he's headed yet, mainly because he's got 28 offers from all over the country. Here's an idea. Alabama, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Stanford sit atop his list. Last Southwest stop was at Harbor High School in Springdale, Arkansas for Josh Frazier. Just shy of 6'3", 324 pounds. Top 10 D tackle prospect, second best overall in Arkansas, solid SEC interest, the home state Razorbacks are in the lead as of right now. Now let's turn our attention to the Northeast squad with two dynamic athletes of their own. Start with Quentin Nelson from Red Bank Catholic High School in New Jersey. Offensive tackle hoping to solidify the Fighting Irish front five when he heads to Notre Dame to continue his career. He's a top 10 tackle prospect and the second best in New Jersey. Got to be pretty big to hop in at O-line at the D1 level. I think he'll be good. Dude, 6'5", 295. I'm thinking he drinks whole milk. Just saying. Let's look at Curtis Samuel from Erasmus Hall in Brooklyn, New York. Kid does it all. Safety, running back, well, pretty much anything that has to do with athletic skill. The third best athlete in the class of 2014. The kid runs a 4'3", 40-yard dash. Urban Meyer and the Buckeyes scooped him up in August. Want to see him run across his camera? Want to see him do it again? Our only stop in the Midwest this week was for Jaden Galt at Morona Grove High School in Madison, Wisconsin. His parents were presented the Dream Protector Award courtesy of American Family Insurance. He's a top 10 offensive tackle, best player in the Badger State. Fitting then that he committed to the Wisconsin Badgers over a year ago. Did I mention he's 6'7", 285 pounds? Maybe he can start at center for the Hoops team while he's at it. Our next stop takes us to Buford, Georgia, where the Southeast team met linebacker Corey Rogers. His parents also snagged a Dream Protector Award from AFI. 6'1", 210 pounds, headed to Clemson to help Davo Swinney's defense. Stud! We'll round out this week's show with a trio from California for the West Selection Tour team. We'll start with Bryce Dixon, a tight end from St. Bonaventure High School in Ventura. He's the number one ranked tight end prospect in all the land and has a 6'4", 220-pound frame to back it up. I'm going to go out on a limb and say if you're in the red zone, or even just anywhere on the field, he's a matchup headache for any defense. Throw him the rock. USC has the lead for now, and the Trojans hope that he fights on in LA for the next four years. Anu Tawa is a defensive tackle from Lompoc High School. He's nearly six feet tall and weighs almost 290 pounds. Ole Miss, Oklahoma, Washington State, and UCLA seem to be deadlocked at the top of his list. He also has the greatest hair anyone has ever seen. Last but never least, how about DJ Calhoun? Six feet tall, 215 pound linebacker that runs a 40 yard dash in the 4-6 range. The pride of El Cerrito High School committed to USC in July. He lays the wood, they peel you off the turf. How sweet is this? 
U.S. Army All-American Bowl featured on the cover of the fall edition of the Adidas Team Catalog. Check it out if you can. Also, tune in on Saturday, January 4th, 2014 to the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. Live, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, broadcast across the nation on NBC. Wow, what a week it was on the selection tour here for the U.S. Army All-Americans. Don't forget to check us out on social media to see what's coming up for the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Till next week, I'm Tyler Olson.